This is a new art subscription box and it's called Cathartic. Now this is an Australian box. Uh, this is the second box. I missed out on the first one because I didn't know that they existed until I was told by a couple of my artist uh, friends. So I'm going to open it and see what is inside this Australian art box compared to the scroller box the UK one that I do buy which is my main one I got a three month subscription to cathartic to see what it was like and I'm gonna give them three months worth of trial and in review and give a little bit of feedback on what I think about the box. So let's open this up and let's see what is inside. So this is December's box as well. So it comes like this with the cathartic sticker, all the details are on the bottom. This reminds me of how scroll box used to be. To opening with scissors again which is extremely dangerous for me because I am a clumsy person and very accident prone here we go we have oh we have a bunch of green little worms oh oh I'm digging I'm digging oh here we go okay so we've got two little wrapped parcels we'll open the smaller one first um, so this is what the packaging looks like. They've got little stickers on them. Oh, okay, wait a sec. Gotta just move this box aside. So we have what appears to be some Toison Dior. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. You know how good I am at pronouncing stuff. They're either some sort of like oil pastel or chalk, but We'll find out. We'll open the second one and see what's in here. Wow, so we have a Faber-Castell eraser. We have this thing, which I am not familiar with, uh, but we shall find out. Oh, we have a <laughs> good old Mont Marty. <laughs> We've got some Mont Marty. Uh, rubber tipped sort of uh, paint brushes which I assume is for moving this pastel -y stuff around so paint and sculpt we have this interesting looking thing this thing is a peel and sketch charcoal pencil so by the looks of it you uh, pull the string and Peel it back to reveal more charcoal. We've got two stumps, uh, one in a size six and the other one in a size three. We have a General's Charcoal White. So it's looking like this box is chalk pastel. This is nice wrapping paper. We've got the logo on here so this is what the uh, menu looks like so this thing here is a sandpaper block oh okay so it is to looks like it's to sharpen the stumps we have the featured artist oh that's that is quite pretty that is very pretty so this uh this artist here that's her name Catherine marion Marion and she is uh, from New Zealand so there is the social medias if you're interested in seeing who this artist is because that is that is very very lovely right there that's quite nice what we have here is we have quite a few wow we've got quite a few bits of paper and they're all different colors wow so we've got some We've got some light yellows, some dark yellows. We've got some grays, blues, whites. We've even got black. We've got a dark blue. 
We've got oh, another gray and here's some more yellows. Oh, wow, that. Okay, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed with the uh, paper selection right here. This is pretty cool. 14 sheets of paper. That, that is pretty impressive. I'm extremely terrified. I am no good with pastels at all. And I was hoping to never come face to face with these ever again. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's looking like they're uh, going to test me today. I suppose we can see how all these, all these swatch out. So I might grab... There's two of these colours, so I'll grab the yellow. So that is the white pastel. I've never seen this before. Right, so let's just see what these do. Oh look, I am a little bit confused at why these, these here are in the box when the stumps are in the box, but that's just me. Because the stumps work so much better. So this is the sandpaper and I presume that you just do this when you need to when you need to bring the stump back Smudge a bit of this in. Unless this is to also get some of that color out maybe. So far, so far my um, thoughts on the box is um, it's sort of giving me um, sort of scroller box vibes. When I first got scroller box in 2008, this is sort of what this is uh, screaming at me because the funny thing is, when I first got my first scroller box, it was pastels. <laughs> and it was the most terrifying time of my life when it came to a scroller box. And then I, this is my first box with the, with the, uh, with the cathartic uh, art box and it's fucking pastels. <laughs> I'm feeling like history has repeated itself here and I'm quite terrified of what to do. The only thing that I can do now is uh, go away and see what I can um, do with this box and uh, then I'll give my final review on the Australian cathartic art box. Okay, I think it's been long enough. I think it's time to tackle this box. It's now like January. <laughs> it's like the middle of January and I still haven't tackled this box. So, and there's a reason why I haven't, um, I've taken a while to uh, do this is because of the fact that they're pastels. I'll put that over there just so I've got the palette closed. So I'll put that there just so I can see that too. I don't really know what I really want to do, but I might just sort of really keep it simple. We might choose, I might choose uh, maybe this yellow piece. And then if I feel up to it, I'll do another piece. I might do it on not ready to tackle black paper yet with pastels. Or am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, I'll choose this bluey color. See how wonky I can get this today. Let's try this effect how, see I see this one person does this like, oh God. That didn't work out. I've seen them do this, so 
<laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try this and we'll see what happens. Now we'll do a bit of the tealy color about Man, this is going to be messy as hell. I am not built to to play with pastel. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Guys, let's just start doing this shit. I could be using one of these uh, wonderful tools here, but I have opted to do it with my finger because that's just how I want to do it. No, 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 don't like that. Maybe we do like this sort of alien type uh, being in this sort of black silhouette. Floating through the sky, maybe. It's like this uh, alien that's like really sort of just got no bones and it's just floating through the air. There's like a few others in the distance. We'll like, we'll just, we'll do like some sort of, uh, other little silhouettes. I'm trying to add clouds here, but it's not working whatsoever. I think I'm done with this um, as a little bit of a, a warm up, so we'll get rid of it. Oh great, it's tearing the paper. Awesome! So that was just my warm up. Uh, that's crap, so. Let's try something else. I'm starting to panic because I'm failing real bad here. So I'm still gonna do this technique because I just want to right, so we might put some brown in the center here try and darken up some of this here I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm happy A bit of a bit of yellow here and there maybe just sort of coming out. I'm just I'm just throwing stuff down. I definitely feel more comfortable using my fingers, so that's why I'm using it over the stumps. A little bit of a, a lake type thing here. And where's that white pencil? Where did I put it? Am I going blind? Oh no, it's here. It's alright, I found it. If I sort of go out a bit and make sort of like, like little uh, ripples and that. Add a little bit more black. And this is where I might use my stump a bit. So my finger's just a little bit too thick for what I want to do here. Just to sort of create like a little bit of a, a bank here. Let's do some trees. Wiki. <laughs> I found out how to do it. <laughs> look, <laughs> look how much I've got. I'm probably gonna break that now. So I'm like just putting little bits of grass around the edge of the water and trying to sort of just like create some more depth and put some trees in the background over here and everywhere and. It's like really hard now because like I have to like put my hands on the on the drawing now and then this happens. I'm trying not to do that because oh, I'll smudge everything and I don't particularly want to go back over it again. It's just, I'm just in a bit of a whingy mood. 
Let's make a real big boy here. Like, let's do like a log over, like a tree overturned, like a log on the ground. And maybe we might do a little, uh, maybe a little glow coming out from behind here. Probably should have done this before I did the trees, but anyway. I've just got to work with my afterthought now. Unless, I've just had a thought, instead of like having like this, like really flat like, um, you know, Ez Rock looking, looking mountain, maybe we have like, I have like one of these sort of mountains because I've just had another afterthought of uh, like putting like clouds around the top of this mountain. So yeah, I'm just, I'm running with that now. Maybe this uh, scene is like um, bushfire, cause like we get a lot of bushfires in Australia. Um, like, you know, there's obviously a lot of other places have bushfires, but uh, we seem to get a lot of them as well. And um, maybe this is the aftermath of a bushfire has gone through. Everything is recovering again. Oops. Oh, it kind of looks like smoke a bit. All right, let's go in a different direction now because this kind of looks like smoke. Because I ran with the bushfire theme, I'm just gonna keep it at that and we'll make this like smoke. This is, this is a sort of smoke still, you know, floating around in the atmosphere and stuff is still sort of smoldering a little bit. I'm just wondering if this is like time to stop or what? Might do a little ducky. Let's do a little ducky. And maybe we make a little baby ducky. Let's make two little baby duckies. I am going to quit now because <laughs> I don't want to do any more because I don't know how to fix this or do the rest. So, well, see how crap my border is and how uneven my border is by tearing this paper off, this, this tape off. Huh, my border wasn't too badly uneven. It's like, and uh, a, like a picture in the Australian uh, outback we've had, uh, or in the bushland, we've had a bushfire go through, burn the trees, uh, the grass is sort of slightly regenerated again. Uh, there's still a bit of smoke flying around and these happy little duckies have come back and they're gonna be swimming in the water so yeah that's all I could come up with it's not the best but I'm not a pastel person my thoughts on the cathartic uh, art box uh, this Australian art box I think it is uh, it is good it's still got a lot of uh, still got a lot of ground to cover to sort of get up to the same sort of um, feel as the scroller box and your palette full packs and your, your art snacks and your smart art and all that but I think this is a great start and I would like to see in this box um, like a, a booklet that sh sort of shows you or tells you what to do with the art supplies like I know you can google shit I know but it's just, it adds that little sort of professional touch and instead of um, going to the computer and having a look at stuff, you've got the booklet in your hand, you can sit down at your desk and you can have a look at the book and you can read it. Um, and yeah, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm, I am comparing it to the scroller box and like it is up there, like it's getting there, like this is only the second box. Uh, just a little bit more description on things, on what they are used for at first glance. I think 
I think that would be a really sort of cool touch with this box. I love the amount of paper that came in it and all the different colors. That was really, really nice. So yeah, no, I was, I was pretty happy with that side of things. And I'd like to see a lolly. I'd like to see a lolly in the box because I'm a lolly monster and I like to have a sweet in the box. Um, yeah, that would be that would be really cool. I know that the others do it. This is probably they're trying to be a little bit different, but hey, even put savory snacks in it. That would be cool. I'd like to, you know, nibble on some some savory snacks and um, especially um, if you could like put some Australian lollies or Australian snacks in the box that would be really cool especially if this box is going to be going overseas and people can try our, our lollies oh cost wise too I'm paying about the same amount of money as I would on a scroller box so this it's not too different in cost um, it might be just a fraction bit cheaper than buying a scroller box but not buy much at all when it's you know when especially when scroller box is converted into the australian dollar um yeah they're they're basically much of a muchness i got a i got a three month subscription and it cost me about 125 dollars so that gives the boxes um you know roughly around the 41 to 42 dollar mark Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm, I've got a big mess to clean up like this is foul. So uh, yeah, I'm out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want this box, I'll have a link below. I am not sponsored. I bought these myself. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>